health status of a child under 5 years of age will be adversely affected by all of the following except it's 5 years child na so uh, malnutrition will definitely affect low birth weight catch up growth rehta hai low birth weight have got catch up growth iugr won't have catch up growth a iugr child will be a iugr mother preterm low birth weight so he has not specified whether it is preterm or iugr right he just said low birth weight so still maternal hemoglobin of 11 huh? how is it relevant to a child who is 5 years infections i think c is uh, exception over here as you said it's c but if it was uh, preterm that will be the answer because preterm catch up growth will be there hmm? okay a 10 year old boy presents to pediatric emergency unit with seizures blood pressure in upper extremity is 200 femoral pulses are not palpable see that's the reason see this question emphasizes the fact that whenever any patient comes to you check their pulses up and down up and down all all throughout upper limb and lower limb check their blood pressure upper limb and lower limb this is one dictum in cardiology whenever a patient comes i'll touch your feet why do you want to touch a patient's feet to look at their dorsal pedis okay fine so femoral pulses are not palpable so this is coarctation of aorta uh, oh okay 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 wait 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 this looks like coarctation of aorta clinically okay but here there is a little crux coarctation in a 10 year old boy until then he was asymptomatic they have not mentioned but seizures coarctation mein seizures kyu hona chahiye that's not an so you little be little more careful see takayasu's arteritis i'll tell you some interesting points points about takayasu's arteritis even though it was first identified in japan major research of takayasu's arteritis was done in india it was done in sgpgi it was done in uh, banaras hindu university lucknow there is a high incidence of uh, takayasu arteritis in india this is the most common cause for hypertension uh, secondary causes for hypertension in children most common cause is takayasu arteritis not fibromuscular dysplasia uh, and uh, you 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 have no uh, laboratory findings to diagnose takayasu arteritis it is all clinical diagnosis young young male or female presenting with pulseless disease presenting with or some symptoms of autoimmune disease weight loss on and off fever and uh, discrepancy like this and ultimately it will lead to all end organ damages especially renal failure because the renal arteries are also involved they die due to renal failure which is the most common cause for death in these children okay for my Uh, final year uh, post graduate examination i had a case of takayasu arteritis it was a full case for me okay so you have to read all this i think answer for this is takayasu no no not coarctation okay seizures nahi hota hai coarctation mein takayasu yeah see arteritis there is inflammation of the arteries once there is inflammation there is fibrosis later stage once there is fibrosis there is contraction so upper limb blood pressures are bounding lower limb are absent Co the arteritis can occur anywhere throughout the whole of the aorta it's a large vessel vasculitis it can occur in subclavian it occur in it occur in renal artery it can occur all throughout your aorta okay i think the answer is a because if still there is some amount of activity that activity can cause a seizure hmm
नहीं इफ इट इफ इट एफेक्ट इज दिन बिकॉज फ्रॉम सबक्लेवन ओनली यूर रेडियल कम्स इफ इट डज नॉट एफेक्ट दिस सबक्लेवन इफ इट एफेक्ट ओनली यूर अवोटा थोरासिक यूर अबडामल अवोटा फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यूर टकेस आर्ट्राइट इज एफेक्ट यूर अवोटा आफ्टर यूर सबक्लेवन आर्ट्री हेज गॉन यूर अपर लिम्स हेज पेड ओके A seven-year-old asymptomatic girl is found to have persistent hypertension. She is asymptomatic. Hmm? There is no significant history, and urine examination is normal. Which of the following is the most likely cause? In children, in adult, if it was in an adult, you would have labeled it as essential hypertension. Whereas in children, you have to think about other causes of because it is not an essential hypertension. You have to think about other causes. so it is not essential it may not be essential but if it is in hyderabad and this young girl is obese nowadays they are developing essential hypertension renal parenchymal disease number one cause polycystic kidney disease not seen in children it is seen at the age of 50 years 60 years coagulation of aorta is usually symptomatic this girl is asymptomatic and completely everything everything is normal here coagulation at least they have uh, what is called as headaches severe uh, uh, this all those things you will be seeing that could be one reason other reason could be because here urine examination is normal they have given see renal parenchymal disease usually has some amount of urinary abnormalities either in the form of proteinuria or in the form of microscopic hematuria so uh, if given an option of b and d i would go for d in this case because urine is normal but <laughs> don't go by the answers over here see again uh, you something will be there some significant history mild pedal edema urine like mild proteinuria will be there if that is not there i don't think renal parenchymal disease is there okay yeah so it depends upon your luck also <laughs> what question you get so a child presented with intermittent episodes of i think this will be the last question for today a child presented with intermittent episodes of left sided flank pain ultrasonography revealed a large hydronephrosis with dilated renal pelvis and cortical thinning and a normal ureter so isme stone nahi hai hmm kidney differential function was observed to be 19% which of the following is the best management nephrectomy pyeloplasty external drainage endopyelostomy first what is the diagnosis you tell me intermittent episodes of left flank pain ultrasonography reveals large hydronephrosis with dilated pelvis so it's a puj obstruction ureter is normal so it is not left vur okay it is a puj obstruction so puj obstruction usually presents with left flank pain and this pain is more but intermittent episodes i am really skeptical they don't have intermittent episodes puj is puj that's all it is there right from birth until you operate it or it resolves by its own so another condition which causes intermittent flank pain is called as uh, renal angina where there is uh, the ureter comes in between the abnormal aorta is here in uh, mesenteric artery is here so when they are pulsating when they are pulsating it, the ureter gets entrapped that is called as ureteric entrapment syndrome okay in that case might this might fit but if it is a left isolated puj they won't have pain they will be asymptomatic and intermittent episodes of pain if at all they have then that will be due to urinary tract infection so now our differential diagnosis is two left puj and left ureteric entrapment syndrome so ye dono mein hai in dono mein we don't do nephrectomy see always spare your kidney save your kidney so nephrectomy is gone puj obstruction treatment of choice is pyeloplasty why pyeloplasty 
because he is having cortical thinning and the GFR is going down of that kidney. If you don't do pyeloplasty, that kidney GFR will become zero. Hence pyeloplasty. External drainage, no. You are not solving the problem. You are just giving temporary relief. Endopyelostomy. Endo means endoscopically, you are putting a stomy. I don't think this is an answer. So, answer is B only. So, it is a left PUJ and the intermittent episodes of pain is due to infection the child is having. Whenever there is an infection, there will be tense pyonephrosis. There will be pain. So, answer is pyeloplasty. Open or and, uh, laparoscopic is up to the surgeon's choice. So, answer is B. Shall we stop?